Hey everyone! In this video, I'll show you how to build a programmable laser turret using a laser module and a couple of servos. For the brains of the board, I'll use this parallax propeller activity board. You could use any microcontroller that has PWM to control the servos with, but since I just watched a live stream of the folks over at Parallax do a successful boot of their Propeller 2 chip, I decided to celebrate by building the turret using this board. But it's also a good choice for this project because it has these connectors up here that are perfect for servos. I got my servos from Kitronic, and they sell a bunch of electronic kits and components like this, so you should definitely check them out. And the laser came from laserland.com. And these folks have all kinds of laser modules, a bunch of different colors and strengths. So if you're looking for some lasers like this, you should definitely check them out too. So the idea behind this is really simple. One servo will be the base, and it'll control the pan rotation. The other servo, I'll just hot glue to the top of the base, and it'll control the tilt rotation. So the combination of the two gives you those two angles of freedom. Then if I just mount this laser module to it, I'll be able to point the laser wherever I want. And then I'll use the propeller board to drive the servos, and I can add other functions with that too. All right, first things first, I need to glue this one servo to this other servo. And the thing I like about hot glue is if you mess up, it's really easy to peel it off and fix it. So we'll just put a good glob. See, the hot glue poked out of the hole in the center, but that should be fine. I think I can poke that out with a screwdriver or something. Oh yeah, that came right out. Cool. See how easy that was? Now I'll probably have to glue the bottom one to a base to stop it from being top heavy. But for now, let's focus on attaching the laser. My thought with the laser is that I should just be able to rubber band it to this connector. Um, it'll have a little bit of jiggle that way. If it's too much, I'll find a better way to secure it, but this is easy. So I'm just wrapping around these little prongs. That's a pretty tight hold too. So I'm definitely going to need a base because this is obviously very top heavy. And I'm just going to use this little Weck jar lid. So it's just a glass jar lid. It's got a pretty good weight to it. And using a little bit of hot glue on it won't hurt anything. And there you have it. Turret complete. The only thing left to do now is load some code onto this propeller board. All right, so I put this together in Blockly to control it. And basically it's gonna run forever because of this block. And then it's gonna set pin 17, which is the pan pin, to the angle 30, and set pin 15 to the angle 60, and then 17 to 90, and then 15 to 90. So I'm basically gonna be drawing a square with a little bit of delay between every motion. So now if I go over here, where I have the laser set up, you can see the beam is shining up here. If I go ahead and flip this switch to power the servo, you can see it starts to work. I need to get the angle right. Very cool. And here I've made it even simpler, where it still repeats forever, but now instead of fixed numbers, it just generates a random number between some range for each one, and then pauses just a little bit, just enough to let the servo kind of move some, but not completely. And if we go back over to the wall, and turn this on, Oops, I broke it. The hot glue came off of this one. Well, I'll make it more sturdy and I'll put the screw in the servo to hold that thing on before I glue it this time. 
There we go. Now it's all better. So if I go ahead and flip this switch. And until next time, bye.